Hey, it's Dr. Schmidt. So I want to go over the symptoms that appear above the collar. So collar up focal infections causing systemic disease it was a, a video I did in September of 2021. It went viral and I use it clinically every day. I have probably 70% of my patient base are treating these conditions topically because these conditions above the collar can go into the body causing arthritis, cancer, heart disease, gallstones, kidney stones, um, autoimmune conditions, leaky gut, digestive problems, constipation, GERD, acid reflux, ulcers, um, and then fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, they can all be originating from above the collar. Here are the symptoms from above the collar that you need to eliminate 100%, and I said this at the bottom. Your goal is to have zero of these above symptoms. They need to be gone 100% to prevent systemic disease in the body. All right, number one, sim uh, ears. Itchy, draining, excess wax, plugged, watery inside, hard to pop open. So if you're on a plane and you're trying to get your ears to pop, that means there's, a, there's something in there that needs to come out. And you have to treat it topically. Throat, chronically sore, snoring at night, the dripping or tickle feeling down the back of the throat, clearing the throat a lot. There's something in there that needs to come out. And usually it's, you know, it's an organism of some kind. It could be Lyme fungus, candida, it could be bacteria, parasites, and then all the mucus that these organisms create has to go somewhere because there's not much space up here. There's a lot of space down here. Your belly can get bloated. You can get uh, ankle swelling. You can put on weight, but it doesn't happen in the face so much because the, the location, the real estate above here is tight, so it needs to go somewhere else. Tonsils, chronically swollen tonsils, in the back of the mouth, nose, dripping nose. It could be white, red, green, or yellow mucus, frequently blowing your nose, dripping after eating, needing to clean it often, can't breathe through a nostril or two, especially at night. People complain about this. I lay on my right side, my right nostril is clogged up. I lay on my left side, and the left nostril is clogged up. That has to be cleared out 100%. I talk about Navage, and there's another um, device called the Sinu Pulse Elite and they can clean out the sinuses really well. I talk about herbs that you can put in there. Okay, now let's talk about sinuses. Chronic pressure, congestion, snorting, trying to get all that goop from your nose and sinuses into your mouth. Then you gotta spit it out. You can't swallow that and get that in your stomach. Spit it out. And if you need antihistamines, a lot of people need you know, seasonal allergy type antihistamines or maybe every day of the year, Benadryl, etc. You got to clean this up, get to the cause, uh, uh, treat it topically so that it's gone 100% so you don't need the antihistamines anymore and um, all these symptoms go away. Teeth, you got to get a good dentist. If your teeth are sensitive to cold or pressure, that's a problem. There's an infection somewhere. When I had black mold in 2015 uh, and 16, my teeth were very sensitive to a toothbrush. I would push up with the toothbrush on this side actually and it was, I had incredible pain. I didn't know I had black mold, but it indicates uh, an infection that there was something there. And uh, detoxing the black mold made that go away. Um, cavities, if you get frequent cavities or even one in the last 10 years, there's a problem. Cracking of the teeth. And if you ever had a root canal done and maybe you have an infection at the base of that root canal, we'll get to that at the very end. Gums, receding gums. Uh, pockets in the gums, like you can have okay gums, but there's one spot where it goes really deep. And then uh, bleeding too easily. You go to a dentist and they do the, uh, they measure the millimeters, um, and it should be three millimeters or less when they, they measure the depth of the gums between the teeth. I've been on the low carb carnivore diet. I've been a low carb since 1999. I've been to the dentist three times. I was just at the dentist uh, a couple weeks ago. And I had one spot that was four millimeters. Otherwise, it was three and better. And, I, and that's because I eat a, the carnivore low-carb diet. The more carbs you eat, um, and especially the standard American diet, that makes your teeth totally disintegrate in your gums. And then bacteria come in, and they eat away at the dead tissue. They cause disease. And then you end up swallowing the bad bacteria down your throat, causing symptoms down there. Mouth, bad breath, patches of discoloration. Um, and then recurring sores. So in the cheeks and even uh, on the tongue, which is next, coated tongue, white, black, brown, 
mottled or, or fissures on your tongue, consider that there's bacteria there. There's a there's um, lab tests that you can do, a spit test. You send it to a lab and they look for pathogenic bacteria. Uh, the first time I used a water pick, which was actually last year, um, my vision improved immediately. It was as if there was some liquid that was somehow being kept in my sinuses up here because of the pathogenic bacteria in my mouth. I don't know. I don't understand it, but I used that water pick and my vision cleared up. It was amazing. So the last one is a jawbone. You can have a cavitation, which means an infect a cavity, a hollowing in the jaw, and there could be an infection in there or maybe not. But you can only tell by doing a 3D scan called a cone beam, and I wrote that down there. So cavitation abscess infection found by a cone beam at extraction sites or at root canal sites. So when you were 19 years old and you had your wisdom teeth pulled out, that dentist needs to, he should have, he or she should have removed the ligament that look, acts like a cup and it protects the uh, jawbone from the tooth. All right, it's like a cushion, if you will, but that ligament should have been removed when you had the um, infection taken out or the uh, wisdom tooth taken out okay so there's these symptoms and they have uh, various um, activities and therapies that you can do to address all of these and I talk a lot about that in this video I'll put it the, I'll put it right here right now at the very top uh, the original video that went viral like a year ago uh, regarding these symptoms okay now all those symptoms above the collar go down into your body and they cause disease here are the resulting pathologies that are known and have been studied and seen clinically now, this is information that uh, Pfizer doesn't know about, government uh, agencies, uh, life ins uh, insurance companies, social media trolls. They don't understand this. Only clinicians that work with their hands and see people face to face can get this. They see it clinically. This is not some lab rat figuring out a drug or looking at chemistry. This is, this is uh, in the person's body and only clinicians really understand what I'm talking about. So all of those symptoms can go into the body and cause these diseases. Breast cancer, there's actually been shown a bad tooth with an infection going into, with a heat camera, a thermogram, they can see the line going to the breast cancer. I have a patient who has that. She's going to give me uh, the image and uh, maybe I can show it to you. So breast cancer, colon cancer, imagine all these bacteria going into the stomach, uh, stomach cancer. Uh, I've seen it actually cause appendix cancer, which is super rare, um, but it can cause other cancers. All right, heart placking. Uh, Dr. Thomas Levy has studied 5,000 patients, and he shows every single one of the heart plaques had a uh, similar bacteria or the same bacteria in the mouth. So the mouth, there's a correlation there causing uh, oral dysbiosis in the mouth, causing heart placking. Atherosclerosis. The the mucus from these organisms turns to calcium, turns to stone in the body. And it can happen in the heart. It can happen in other locations such as the joints, causing bone spurs, etc. So stomach symptoms, dysbiosis, meaning like acid reflux, GERD, here's ulcers, bloating, uh, gas, burping, IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, kind of a catch-all diagnosis, hiatal hernia, nausea, vomiting, and it creates a habitat for parasites in the intestines. So mucus, pus, chemicals, enzymes, bacteria, parasites up here going into the body, causing all of that. Lungs, asthma, chronic bronchitis, allergies that can be coming from, for example, the back of the throat. It can drip into the stomach or into the lungs. It could be coming from the ears into the lungs. One of my greatest stories is a woman, she was on the list for a double lung transplant at University of Michigan. I found her ears were infected. I can't use that word infected. All I can say is that she had organisms, her immune system was challenged. I had her treat her ears topically, and now all that dripping went away. She got rid of her oxygen tank, and she got off that double lung transplant list. We saved her lungs because we were able to find the cause up here. Autoimmune conditions can come from leaky gut, which comes from above the collar. Arthritis, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, uh, skin rashes, chronic immune system weakness, chronic fungus, um, constipation, did I mention that one? So all of these, we've been able to see a correlation and, and provide a really good solution. If you want our help, contact the office.